And then somebody put, there's a pull towards the negative, a strong pull, not sure why. So I want to pause and answer that. So what you guys want, what we all want with our inner critic changing, this update is positive. The inner critic that we want to leave behind is negative, right? We want to develop a compassionate dialogue. That's a positive. We want to leave behind the negative. Why is there a pull to, to stay in it? The reason is, is because our subconscious mind being like a computer, unlike our conscious mind that has feelings and, and is like, oh, that's good. I, I like that. I don't, or it, it can see things um, abstractly. Our subconscious is just yes, no, black and white. And it's like a computer and it's designed to keep you, you. So if the narcissist put in a um, self-image that is negative, then as we go to leave that negative self-image, even though it's not a good self-image, our subconscious mind isn't like, oh, good, bad. It's like, no, this is who you've been. You know, that's not who we are. I've used the um, illustration that our subconscious mind is like a psycho cybernetic mechanism, very much like our thermostat at my house. It's set at, I don't know what it's set at right now, 70. And if my kids leave the door open or if they open the door, it doesn't automatically kick on. It takes time for that mechanism to notice a change in temperature. Once it notices, it kicks on. Well, that's like our subconscious. We start moving towards the positive. And in the beginning, it's like, yeah, yeah, she's doing that. But, you know, that's just today. And then as we stay in the new positive, all of a sudden we start feeling resistance. Resistance isn't bad. Resistance is evidence that you're outgrowing an old ingrained belief. Does that make sense? So we can start noticing instead of viewing resistance as a bad thing, because if we view it as a bad thing, it kicks on like frustration, it kicks on impatience, it kicks on things that activate our nervous system. And then it's even harder to continue going in the direction we want to go. But if we view it as, oh, there's that resistance because that's who I was. And it's not just who I was when it comes to trauma. Anytime I was positive. This is like the double whammy of trauma. Anytime you did have a good positive belief, anytime you did try to be positive, you had somebody that was constantly slamming it out, out of you. So it's not only, oh, that's not you, but it's on top of it and that's dangerous. So we have to work with resistance.